hard day. It's a very hard day. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I'm in the greenhouse. Um, I was really happy because for the first year ever, all of the plants in the greenhouse really basically made it through the winter. And um, not sure if it's because it's the end of the winter season and there's very there are very little options for rats to forage for outside, but plants that have been in here that are two years old, plants that are three years old, they came and they destroyed my greenhouse. Dug out. So they dug out. Um, everything. And I mean avocado plants that were two years old, three years old. They came and they dug everything out. They dug out the mangoes, the West Indian cherry plants. So um, they ate down my let's say the apple plants. There is pretty much very little left in here. Very little. And there is only so much a person can take. We've had challenges before. Um, I've lost a lot of plants for different reasons. Flooding. Um, trees fell on the greenhouse. Um, but I was really starting to think we really had a handle. <laughs> on everything and um it's just really hard to make it to march and have to start over so <sighs> needless to say today Today is a hard day for me. It means um, I now have to source more plants, which I was really hoping wouldn't be a challenge because since the pandemic, a lot of you have been reaching out to me asking for plants that normally I would go home and get myself. I would um, procure because that's what makes us different for most people. When um when I moved to New York, I was ordering plants and seeds from people, and I'd spend hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, <clears throat> for my own benefit, buying these things, and then, you know, their their return policy would expire after sixty days. And by the time the things came to fruition, or by the time I realized they weren't germinating, or something was deceptive about the the plants I received it wasn't the variety that they said it was or it, it wasn't any special heirloom that I'd never seen before with you know photoshop pictures and stuff there was no recourse I couldn't get my money back I couldn't get you know plants that actually met my needs so I went the more expensive route and literally went home and formed partnerships with local farmers and started sourcing my own plants and sharing them with you, which is really how My Exotic Secrets was born. Um, and since COVID-19, I haven't traveled. Um, we're expecting a baby in another, a little over a month. So now is definitely not the time for me to travel. Um, Uh, so it's going to be more challenging for me to find a way to get that authenticity to you guys this year is where this is going. 
because I just lost 90% of our inventory. But I'll keep you posted. And I will let you know how things are going. Even if I am able to get you, um, and I do have an idea on how I can get you plants, it may not be mature plants. Because I think that was one of the um, concerns that some people had. Not everybody is a green thumb per se. And um, getting plants from saplings to uh, bonsai trained mature plants that are producing was challenging for some of you and I'm gonna try to see if I can find a way to accommodate all of that this year I probably need to get out of here the more I look at the stuff the harder the day gets yeah so um, I've got to figure out how to work out a system where now we can get the, the greenhouse rat proof. Um, there's a stream that runs along one border of our property and I think because it's there it invites um, lots of unwelcome friends. And so far we haven't had a problem with them until now course it would happen now okay. I'm gonna be okay I'm gonna be okay you're gonna be okay we're all gonna be okay um, I just need to I, I mean look, look at that look at that hole look at that gaping hole they tore up the place I just dug out everything and tore up the place. So um, they're eating down this um, lemon plant. So I've, I'm lucky to even have a couple of buds on there, but I'm pretty sure they'll be gone by the end of the week. So yay, good times. I'll let you know what's going on and what we'll be able to provide for you, what we'll be able to salvage. I'm gonna have to work on reinforcing the greenhouse this week great stuff thanks for sharing this moment with me I know it wasn't a fun moment but thanks for being here for it I'll let you know how it goes <laughs>